Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to yet another exciting lesson from SAGET Tech. My name is Asaf, and I hope you enjoy this one. But please, please, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below this video for us to be able to keep on producing more and more of these wonderful lessons. Good day once more. My name is Asaf from SAGET Tech, and today we are treating the power supplies as done in grade 8 and 4. Uh, the power supply they're going to be treating today is the solar cells or uh, the solar energy you would recall there are quite a number of them you've got your power stations you've got your dc power supply in, in the form of cells and batteries but today we are concentrating on the solar cells uh, and there are a number of items here that i'm going to, to be using with apparatus um, the first one is a solar cell itself here it is the very small solar panel that we're going to be using remember it traps the energy from the sun and convert it into electricity and we also have the multimeter uh, actually the voltmeter not the multimeter it's only measure the voltage here is our voltmeter and we also have this uh, pvc sheet uh, all these materials are obtainable in your technology kit then i did take this um wide pvc sheet and cut out a, a round uh, part from it and just uh, start demarcating it with a marker skewed of course so that i can be able to make um, a fan out of it so my fan will look like this and we also have the motor our dc motor our small dc motor all this as i said are obtainable from our uh, technology kit now the first thing that we're going to do is to test or to check the voltage when our solar panel is exposed to the sun rays and when it is not exposed. Let's first start by uh, measuring the voltage. Now as we measure the voltage you see we have connected the positive which is red to the positive of the voltmeter, the negative which is black to the negative of the uh, to the uh, black of the um, solar cell. Now we, we are going to check as to what is happening here. As you look, let me first hide the sun rays. As you hide the sun rays, you realize that um, the voltmeter is reading something like 0 0.5 volts. But gradually, as I release my hand, the voltage start rising up, rising, you see it's 3 now, it's now going to 4, it's now going to 5, and when my hand is completely off the solar panel, it's giving me very high voltage beyond 5. So it shows you that when this uh, small uh, solar panel is exposed to the sun, it gives you high voltage, but immediately when you cover it, It, it can go almost to zero if it does not receive anything from the from the sun but gradually as you lift your hand it start giving you voltage to show that there is exposure exposure to the sun now we're going to try and connect this solar panel to or a solar cell to our motor and see what will happen because now the, our motor is having a little fan and we check as to whether we can create ourselves a fan when working in the sunny condition in the presence of uh, the now to finalize our experiment we're going to use this solar cell of ours to power the motor so that it can uh, rotate strictly on solar there is no battery there's nothing uh, we're just going to use pure energy from the sun now as you can see here is our solar cell exposed to the sun at this angle it's better exposed and here is our fan is connected to the motor um, you need to push a motor a little or a fan a little for a motor to start to rotate it needs to be checked a little bit because the voltage is a little low now for control purposes i'm just going to take this plate and put it here so that it can balance because immediately when the fan start rotating it will automatically vibrate a little bit and it might fall now let's give it a push let's start a little bit there it is rotating 
because it's, there's our um, solar cell is exposed to the sun. Now, I'm going to put my hand just in front of the solar cell uh, to ensure that it does not get the sun rays and see what happens to our fan. There it is. It stops immediately. But then, after removing it, just check it a little to give it a start. There it is. Rotating again. There it is rotating again. If I want to stop it, I just going to create a shape in front of our solar cell. As I do, okay. There it is. It stop. I check it or give it a start. Starting again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was our solar cell. That's how it works. That's how we get energy from the sun. And uh, thank you very much for watching. For more of these videos, keep coming back to our YouTube channel. SA Tech. I thank you.